The recently released fourth National Climate Assessment reported that our health and well-being were being negatively affected by climate change, and it was supposed to get much worse going forward in the future. The U.S. Global Change Research Program stated flatly that intense heat waves were increasing and expected to get worse in the future, and that heat-related deaths were the main cause of weather-related deaths in the United States. Is that really the case? In this video, I'll provide to you the historical documentation and data uh, to provide you with enough information that you can make a reasonable judgment for yourself. Let's first start with the EPA's own data, which show no increase in heat waves in recent years. Instead, there was a remarkable spike in extreme heat waves in the 1930s, long before we could have affected climate to any significant degree. Supporting the fact of no increase in intense heat is this chart that shows the percentage of days that exceeded 100 degrees Fahrenheit at almost 1,000 weather stations across the United States. Note that the lower 48 states of the U.S. have seen an 80-year decline in extreme heat. The inconvenient fact is that cold kills considerably more people than heat. It is by far the biggest weather-related killer worldwide. A study of temperature-associated mortality in the United Kingdom and Australia found that cold-related deaths killed more than 15 times as many people in these countries as heat. And in the largest study to date on deaths attributable to heat or cold, a large team of scientists from around the world, led by Dr. Antonio Gasparini, examined more than 74 million deaths in 13 countries between 1985 and 2012. The aim was to determine the number of deaths attributable to either heat or cold. The study revealed that cold weather kills 20 times as many people as heat. In every country examined, cold-related deaths greatly outnumbered deaths from heat. Warmer weather prevents an untold number of premature temperature-related deaths each year. In the United States, summer heat-related deaths have declined dramatically in the last half of the 20th century. Between 1979 and 2006, United States annual death rates from heat declined by 10%, while deaths from cold fell by a dramatic 37%. Excess winter mortality is the statistician's description of premature deaths from cold. The British Office for National Statistics studied such deaths for recent winters in England and Wales and found a strong and persistent decline in excess winter mortality over the past 60 years. Only half as many die before their time in winter today as did in the 1950s. And finally, a study by the European Union predicts that future reductions in death from cold will significantly outweigh any increase in deaths from heat by the year 2080. According to this study, by that year, nearly 100,000 people would be spared an untimely death thanks to global warming. Bear in mind that before climate science became politicized, warming trends like we are in now were referred to as climate optima because they always led to a prospering of the earth and humanity, while cold periods were associated with famine and mass depopulation. The cold, hard facts of global warming reveal that weather-related deaths are declining and will likely continue to do so as long as our temperatures don't revert to the cold of the horrific Little Ice Age 300 years ago. That being the case, we should all welcome the increasing warmth that will save lives and lengthen the global average lifespan.